Hello everyone, this is NiceGuy and welcome back to some more Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we've completed Tiny Huge Island, thus all the subsequent courses we can do on the second floor. And this episode, we're going to be doing all the 100 coin missions of those courses before we go up onto the third floor of, of Peach's Castle where the final two courses are waiting for us. So I'm going to turn off my mic and I'm going to go in order from the first level of the second floor so I'll be right back once I completed it. It's probably just going to be a filler episode for today but I hope you enjoy the OST anyways of these courses in the background. I'm going to go over the remaining bios while the 100 coin missions play in the background and the OST. The very first one, Water Bomb, I mistake mistakenly said that it wasn't formally listed in obstacles. It was exclusive to Bob Bomb Battlefield, bouncing balloons that pursue Mario at, after being shot from cannons. Those are shot from the black bombs in the cannon of the mountain by the King Bob Bomb. The second obstacle is Slide Box, exclusive to Jolly Roger Bay, a skull mark crate that moves back and forth on the rocking ship. It will hurt you if you touch it at all, and it will also crush you immediately after if you're also standing in front of it. So be very careful, as I had to learn in my first playthrough. The second obstacle, also exclusive to that course, Falling Pillar. You'll find these in the cave section, the little giant pillars that try to crush you giant precariously balanced stones that tip at Mario. The fourth one, quicksand, there are various forms of this obstacle, sand that pulls Mario under at varying speeds. There's the one that encompasses the entire course outside, and there's those hexagonal ones that you'll find near the tornadoes and throughout the course. And then there's that dark color one underneath the tox box little course area. There's one that will pull you only halfway near the first pillar by the multiple quicksands, hexagonal quicksands. There's also a bright color hexagonal shaped quicksand inside the pyramid. And that special bright colored sand, instead of just pulling you to your chest, it will pull you all the way in and it will just kill you. But it takes a while to sink to the bottom. You literally have to be idle to die from that. The two remaining bios I forgot to go over last time on the 100 coin episode. Womp stone slabs with faces and weak backs that attack Mario by slamming forward. They'll drop 5 coins once you ground pound on them. We can encounter this enemy one more time but that's going to be in the final stage of the game. Spoiler alert. I didn't want to go over it there because it's kind of unfitting. And the other enemy I missed, Swoop. Pretty weak enemies, bats that hang upside down until approach at which point they start flying around. They'll only drop one coin. Okay, so there's one enemy that I have almost forgot. Exclusive to Tiny Huge Island Bubba. Enormous and quick fish that try to swallow Mario whole. But at least I can show the death animation I didn't get to show that off because Tiny Huge Island was very annoying for me. I also forgot to mention only the booths in the courtyard in the castle grounds will drop a yellow coin, whereas the rest of the booths in the big booths haunt will drop the normal blue coins. And last but not least, the bios for all the bosses from the early game, and I forgot the Tiny Huge Island one. The very first one, Big Bob Bomb. A giant bob -omb in bob -omb Battlefield. He appears at the first boss in the game and has the first power star. And in Womp's Fortress, obviously the Womp King. A giant Womp on top of Womp's Fortress, he has the first power star. After he is defeated, there is a tower on top of the fortress. Well, not after he's defeated, in the second mission. Big Boo, you'll find these in several missions in Big Boo's Haunt. A giant boo that appears three times in Big Boo's Haunt. He initially appears once all the boos in the mansion have been defeated, again in the underground merry-go-round, and lastly on top of the balcony of the mansion. And I didn't know this was classified as a boss, 
the big piranha flowers you have to defeat in the first mission of Tiny Huge Island. Piranha flowers, a quickly growing and receding group of five giant fire breathing piranha plants in Tiny Huge Island. I want to specify that piranha plants are the normal size regular Mario enemies and that all the bios caught up. Now enjoy the rest of the episode and the OSTs.
Mamma mia! That's going to be it from me for today. Thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be going through 
the 50 star big star door onto the third floor where the last two courses remain. If I'm forgetting anything to show off, I will in the next episode, but in the meantime, thank you all for watching once again and I'll see you all next time.